Okay, I'm at a sports here with uh, Josh Barnett here at uh, Smash Global's event. Man, tell us about this. Uh, well, it's this. Uh, to my understanding, it's a charity martial arts event. Uh, and to be honest, it's, it's it's got that black tie element, which I think is really something that's been lacking in in, in martial arts for a while um, and combat sports in general. I, which I think is a is a good environment for this sort of thing. Um, I mean, we are prize fighters, but at the same time, you know, I think there's something very honorable and noble about being a, a fighter, so I like to see that. Yeah, it definitely brings a, a level of class, a different level of class, I guess, than maybe like, say, um, some of the, the, the lower level shows and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm not going to blame lower level shows for that sort of thing either, because, uh, you know, they work with what they have, and, and obviously Smash Global has a great uh, connection with this with this uh, Tagline Complex and other places they put their shows on, and, uh, and, and the network that they've created, so and you take advantage of, of what you what you're able to foster and build. Uh, I want to ask you, man. I saw you last week. Uh, you were cornering uh, uh, Alyssa, Alyssa Garcia. Garcia. Yeah. yeah. Tell us uh, about the she got the she got the W. Uh, to tell us how how you think she looked and just kind of that aspect, kind of being in the corner. Well, you know, I, it's good to, to get another win and uh, to, to get a win streak going. Uh, we're not happy with our performance, neither one of us. Um, but there, even even in uh, a win in which we're dominant as all could be. There's always somewhere that we can find an element to improve upon. And Kayana's super tough, but I felt like we could have uh, we could have executed our game plan a lot better. And we left a lot of our game out of the cage. So um, it's better to do that now than, than later on, on those big fights. Definitely. I want to get your take on, uh, you know, obviously, the heavyweight the division in the UFC. Um, Miocic is fighting uh, Junior again. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, what do, you, what do you think about that first fight? Because me personally, I thought, Stipe edged it out, but obviously Junior got the decision. So, but what, what was your take on the first fight, and how do you think the second one? Didn't goes? see it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, the second one, I think, is going to be a different fight because both are coming in with some decent amount of confidence. Um, and all I got to say, I mean, one of the things that I would like to see is for not everything to just be a kickboxing match. You know, everybody's a slugger in the heavyweight division now because they, they like to rely on that power, but that power can be used against you. Um, using some grappling, wrestling, kickboxing. Well, not not just kickboxing, but uh, you know, being more technical about what you do can give these guys a longer career as well. Yeah. Plus, I mean, if you're getting beat out in one area, if you've got two other areas in which you are you're fully competent and you can disrupt that other fighter, then why not use them? Do you do you lean one way or the other on that fight? Do you see a winner? Mm. Uh, I should, I think going with the champion is usually the, the, the good choice. Plus, I think Steve is a cool dude. I don't really know JDS, so I'm not saying he's not cool. Right. <laughs> uh, a lot, the, the heavyweight division has um, a lot of new newcomers. Uh, Derek Lewis, uh, Francis Ngannou. Um, any of those guys kind of stand out to you as, as a possible kind of future champion? Well, uh, champion? Uh, maybe. I mean, they're big athletic sluggers, right? I think both of them, if they... I mean, I know that uh, Lewis was able to beat... Um, uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, the Brazilian cat. Good submission, good, good grappler. Um, Gabriel Gonzaga. Gonzaga, yeah. But I felt like Gonzaga was really not. It's like, get out there, put two minutes of hard work in, and if it doesn't work out, uh, I don't know. You know, I mean, everybody's got their, their limit to how how long they're willing to put that, that effort into fighting. And, you know, he's put in a lot of time. And maybe it wasn't just for him anymore, but um, he's not. Lewis hasn't really dealt with a lot of good grapplers, wrestlers, and guys that could put him on his back and keep him there. Um, I think that's the same with Ngannou too. Uh, Curtis Blades is able to take him down, but Curtis is—he's still pretty fresh to this game. I should know. I mean, he's been at CSW before, trained together, and I think he's got great potential too. But I mean, little stuff like letting a guy get the far side underhook and get up with that—I mean, that's, that's like that's like that's like eighty. UFCs ago right. to me, but everybody's got their learning curve, and uh, um, those guys. I mean, maybe there's more in their tanks that we haven't seen yet, and there's always that understanding too. But uh, they're doing well for themselves. It's also nice to see um, well, where they're 
you're a fan or not, how Derek Lewis was able to come back from a ugly knockout against uh, Sean Jordan. I think that's his name, right? A kid from Louisiana. Hook kick knocked him out. And then he's done nothing but, but grow from that, which is, that's a good sign, you know, as far as a talented athlete. So. I want to ask you, Cam Velasquez had to pull out of his last fight because um, of injury. Yeah. It seems like that happens a lot to guys in that camp. Do you have a, a notion on why that is? Why, why guys in that camp kind of consistently? I mean, I, I see what they say in the news, but I've never been there, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It just seems, it seems like that camp just has a little, like more injuries than most, it seems like. I, I don't we know. We go pretty hard. Uh, you know, my team comes from, you know, at CSW, we would go really hard. Now, you know, we're doing our own thing as UWF USA. We still have hard days. We still have days we're in there at 80%. Uh, you know, sparring, but I don't know. You know, I mean, some people uh, maybe Kane himself specifically has uh, maybe he's more injury prone because of one thing or the other, some old college injuries. I mean, there's plenty of reasons, and, and it's a it's a controlled chaos of sorts out there. So stuff can happen. Maybe it's just bad luck.